Well, a good Sunday morning to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home in the sticks. I hope everybody's having a good Sunday, and I hope everybody had a good weekend. But I'm here to tell you in East Central Mississippi, reckon the rain has stopped for just a little while. We had a total of 34 days of rain, and we picked up about 18 inches of it. I'm here to tell you. Before we get started on this video, I always like to mention that if you are new to the channel, we want to welcome you. And if you return it just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is, I had quite a few people ask, Dan, how do you preserve your purple hole peas and how do you put them jokers in a pot? So today, that's what I'm fixing to show you. <laughs> Let me show you how we preserve our purple hull peas. What I have here is probably about a half a bucket of some show enough top pick purple hull peas. What we do is we normally take these peas, we got a boil of water over here, we got it going. All I'm gonna do is just dump them peas in that water. I'm gonna put a lid on top of it and I'm gonna boil them peas for five minutes. Now when I say I'm going to boil these peas for five minutes, I'm going to let this water come to a boil. Once it comes to a full rolling boil, I set that timer for five minutes and let them boil a blanch for five minutes. Now what I did uh, several years ago, I did a video on how I preserve the purple hull peas. I think, I can't remember what it was called. I'll put an eye card up somewhere over here so you can peep that video out. But I have to make some show sure enough adjustments to that video. In that video, I said that I blanched those peas for 30 minutes. I probably did in that video, and the reason why is I probably done drank too many of these things right now. But the correction is I blanched those peas for five minutes, five minutes only. All right, there are our purple hull peas that come to a full rolling boil. We got that timer set for five minutes, and we're going to let that timer go. Once the, the uh, timer goes off at five minutes, we shut the pot off and we let those peas cool down. Let me show you what we do next. Okay, once those peas have cooled down, and it's gonna take several hours for those peas to cool down, but when they do, we put all the peas in some Ziploc bags, just like this, and we put them in the deep freeze and we let these guys freeze over. These are quart size bags, by the way, for those that are wondering. Once those peas have frozen over, we swap them out and put them in vacuum seal bags. And we use a 5200 series food saver and we just seal them jokers up. And this is what they end up looking like. Now these peas, once vacuum sealed, and I don't know, maybe Scott can get a good shot. You see that right there? That's the air gap in this bag right here. I get all of the uh, frost or frozen stuff out of there and then we seal it up. But this will stay preserved and put in the deep freeze for several years. We probably have peas that we've been eating on from 2017 that are just still taste as fresh as the day that we picked them off the vine. That's how we uh, blanch our peas to preserve them, to put in vacuum seal bags and then we put them in the deep freeze for the winter time or whenever we want purple hull peas. Also had quite a few subscribers say, Dan, how do you put them jokers in a pot? How do you cook them? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to point you to a video that I did on cooking uh, purple hull peas, the Mississippi style. I'll put it up here so you can peep that out. So that basically is, this is going to be a short video on how we preserve our purple hull peas and uh, a link to show you how we cook them. I, I'm sure uh, once the winter time hits, we'll probably cook more purple hull peas, but here in East Central Mississippi, we've been picking purple hull peas dang near uh, every day. And uh, now that the rain is gone for a little while, we've just been jammed up trying to get stuff done. Basically trying to let everything dry out over here at the home of the sticks. Well, there you have it. That's how we preserve our peas over here and uh, a little video on how we cook them. It's pretty simple. It's just blanching technique. That's all it is. Uh, there's some, some talk about whether or not you should blanch the peas or should you cook them all the way down and freeze them. I've been doing it this way for years and we haven't had any, any problems as of yet. 
So again, I hope everybody's having a show enough, a good Sunday, and I hope everybody is being safe amid the crisis that we still have going on. If you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the Home and Six channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over here and give old Dan Skyler a look, because we always doing stuff like messing with peas. With that being said, you know what's coming. Dan Reffer is showing off, always gonna say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. And I mean nobody. That's right. You show enough, get your shine on, get your grow on, get your cook on. Be you. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.